I got 61. Is that what you guys got? Mm -hmm. Okay. Saturation. So does the hydrogenation result place limits on the number of pi bands? Yes. Right? Good. Yeah. What limits does it place? Let's be quantitative. How many double bonds were there in Buckyball? 61. 61 Up double? 61. Sorry? Either, well, they can be, well, they can be a many. Yeah, so we can actually be much more, it seems like we can be much more precise here. But I mean, there could be rings and high bonds. Now, how many double bonds did we destroy when we hydrogenated? Remember that when we take this and we hydrogenate it, we get this. So just 61 minus 43. So we must have destroyed 18 double bonds. We know that hydrogenation always destroys a, uh, or at least it destroys a pi bond. Uh, there could be some triple bonds, but we know that we destroyed 18 pi bonds. The difference between what these. About rings? Can you... Well, hydrogenation doesn't do anything to a ring. Oh, okay, so, so that's just a. Trick. So this is basically partly testing degrees of unsaturation, but it's also testing whether you've learned what hydrogenation does. Remember that hydrogenation. Oh, it just breaks. Um... Hydrogenation just turns pi bonds into sigma bonds. Hydrogenation just turns pi bonds into sigma bonds, but it doesn't turn rings into straight chains. So if, they, if we lost degrees of unsaturation here, it's only from the rings. So what did we conclude? Uh, I mean, it's only from the pi bond. How many pi bonds did the buckyball have? 61. It had 61 degrees of unsaturation. But part of those was rings, and part of that was pi bonds. What does this have? Does this have, is this 43 rings or 43 pi bonds or some of both? 43 pi bonds. Oh no, it's both, but what you took away were the pi bonds, were you some pi bonds. Let's take our time. Does this have any pi bonds left? No. No, this has no pi bonds left, so these are all rings. It completely destroys all the pi bonds? That's right. Okay. Hydrogenation, this is the basic reaction that hydrogenation does. Hydrogenation here turns the pi bond uh, into a sigma bond. So C60 had 18 pi bonds. So this must have been 43 rings plus 18 pi bonds. Actually, maybe that was too extreme. Uh, I suppose it's possible that you might not have enough hydrogen to hydrogenate all the double bonds. It might not really be completely saturated. It might only be partially saturated. So what we could say, though, is that we can say that this had at least 18 pi bonds. We can say the original compound had at least 18 pi bonds because those are the 18 pi bonds that got saturated. It is possible maybe, maybe that it had more. So I should really say, maybe we should say these are 43 rings, plus maybe some pi bonds that there wasn't yeah, enough hyd say, hydrogen to, to saturate. Is that what they say in the answer? Yeah, key? I'd say okay. at least 18 pi bonds. So it's possible that the final product could still have some pi bonds left. However, we know that all of the degrees of unsaturation we lost were pi bonds that we were losing. So we know that it must have had there we go. Okay, so I was wrong when I said that we could be sure that they would all hydrogenate here. So instead, we should say that the original compound had at least 18 pi bonds. How do we know? Because those 18 got saturated here. We lost those degrees of unsaturation.
What are you looking at now? 46. Okay. Is that the only option? That's what we have to figure out. But that's certainly one option. <coughs> so you're right. Certainly if we hydrogenate this, we would get this. Can now, you can probably have pipe bond in other places, and then just yeah. the one that would be closest to the third. Um, the more substituted would be better because it's more stable. Yeah. So how many different places can we put that pi bond? are all really different compounds. Um, oh, the first and the, the second and the last are really the same. No, These two? Not. Oh, no, no, they're not. They're all different. Yeah, they're all different. Aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about these two? Oh, no, they're the uh, same. I think these are the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, these two are the same compound. Hydrogenation will, uh, generally speaking, uh, will reduce any. <coughs> so for the next one, there's three possible ways. Moving on to part B. Yes. Let's see. By the way, they said simple alkenes. I guess that means you can't have two double bonds. You could have had two double bonds, but they didn't do that in the answers. You could they have two double bonds here. I don't know what they mean by simple alkene. Yeah, no, they didn't. Only, only a single double bond? Okay. So theoretically, you could also have more than one pi bond here, but they said simple alkene. So I guess that means only a single double bond. So they had three answers for that? Oh, no, two. Yeah, two because one of them is going to be the same. They only had two? Oh, no, I'm talking for B. Oh, yeah, but there was three answers for this one? Okay. 